Hello everyone, welcome back to our awesome channel. It's October and it's the start of a new quarter. And boy have things gotten interesting. The market's a little choppy as you saw today. We are seeing some nice rotations into healthcare and the industrials. The Nasdaq was down today, especially weak because of those cloud names like Splunk, Salesforce, and a lot of these IPOs have been fading, the overvalued IPOs. So, I don't know if you've heard of a stock called Adobe. I'll be talking about that. My buddy will be talking about C Trip, a China name. Say it. China. All righty. So, before we begin, I want to remind you that whatever we say in this video or on this channel is not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence. So, with that being said, let's take a look at Adobe. Oh, wait, quickly before I do that, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And check out our last videos. We talked about Johnson & Johnson and Netflix. And this is just a friendly reminder that this is not financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Please consult a professional before entering any positions. And please always do your own due diligence prior to investing. Yeah. We had a double down on that financial advice thing. Okay, so Adobe. This one caught my eye. Don't you love this stock? But unfortunately, they were rotating out of these cloud names, so that was quite problematic. But I did get in the eight or the two eighty five or no two eighties for next week. They were around a dollar and seventy cents. You know, I bought throughout the day. Uh, unfortunately, the stock did close near the lows. But the trade here is hoping it can rip past two seventy seven. Right now, the futures are up around six handles on the S and P. Uh, the Nasdaq's up uh, a little bit, 0.20%. So we'll see what happens tomorrow if they keep on rotating out of technology. If they do, then that's going to be problematic. So the support level I have for this is 270.70 or so. So if it does break that, I expect it to go back to 266 to 268 level. But these calls were about $1.70. You know, I'm having a 50% stop loss. And if it does break out, I expect 275 and then over that, 277 then we'll target the 282 to 285 range. And with that, I expect the calls to at least double or triple, and I'll be taking profit there. And if you backtest um, Adobe and look at whenever they have the non-farm payroll numbers, most of the time after the, the numbers come out, a week or two after, the stock is up. That's quite interesting if you want to backtest that. It's, uh, I mean, you don't want to always use just like one thing like that. To determine your trades you want to use multiple things like uh different indicators and different ta and whatever fundamental news there is out there but just one of the things that's uh that you can look at and you can see right. this stock is in an amazing trend um and just a reminder yeah, but, that nfp is this friday yeah so. nfp is this friday blunk did have a conference today and they were buying the 120 calls for this week and obviously it doesn't look like that's working out for them so the stock is down here at around 113 dollars. it faded really hard and you know, ever since it went up to this hundred thirty dollar level, they've just been selling it, and selling it, and selling it. So the whole sector's been under pressure. So we'll see what happens to Adobe tomorrow. And obviously, I mean, you want to play like you have to manage your own account. You have to see what your risk reward is and whatnot. But this is just a trade idea. Um, yeah, that's all I have on Adobe. But you can always you can check out the J and J call I had on my last video. And I know you talked about Netflix. And yeah, so. I'll flip it over to you for the C trip. Thank you. So yep, on C trip, um, so what was it? They have earnings coming up um, in November, if I remember correctly, right? Or yeah. or at the end of, or at the end of this month or something like that. Um, but basically, um, on C trip, we did get um, large volume uh, prior. Okay, so their last earnings was on September fifth, right? Earnings so, are November fifth. Um, that's their estimated earnings. Date. November 5th. Okay, that's yep. our estimated date. So last earnings, September 5th, um, you know, we did see a huge gap up and uh, we did get a lot of volume in that stock. But since then, the stock's been just been consolidating and range bound. Um, so this go around, uh, as long as we're above this pivot price that it had prior to um, the last earnings, that's going to basically mean that before. So just think about it in terms of earnings. If this price is higher than the last earnings than the average on average it's moving up earnings to earnings and last earnings you know it did gap up heavily and this whole time it's been consolidating so therefore it leads me to believe that this time um they may 
be um, still accumulating C trip as it hasn't broken out into the downside. Um, and sellers really haven't won yet, nor have buyers. Um, I mean, buyers won a few times when it hit thirty nine dollars a few times, and um, that's basically that's some really big resistance that we're facing right now. So if uh, C trip gets back, um, you know, if C trip sees a dip in the next few days, uh, I'm going to be looking to, um, you know, just see how it reacts going into earnings. And generally, these names are going to just ca- are going to be catching a bid going into earnings because if you see last time, um, you know, the earnings were good. I'm not saying last time it, it went up before earnings, but if the earnings were good and this time, you know, going into earnings, people are like, okay, last time it was good. And, um, you know, so on and so forth. And maybe this time it'll be, um, you know, similar, similar trends. So on a technical level, uh, I'm, I would like this to retrace a little bit further um, and go into this box right here into like the 37, the lower 37 range. And if it goes as low as, uh, you know, if it dips below 37, like uh, really quickly at market open or something, um, then that's going to be interesting. I'm going to be interested in um, uh, look looking at some uh, bullish reversal in C-Trip. So um, that's that's what I have on C-Trip. Yeah, so I, let me talk a little bit about that as well. Yeah, go ahead. Sure so thing. C-Trip around here, when it got down to the 37.25 level, yesterday they went in and bought the $40 calls for December, actually. And they bought around 400 k worth on that $40 line. And then on 925, there was also some buying. And then a week prior to that, there was also buying for... October. So this thing is the issue with this stock is that there's a lot of headline risk because of the whole China Trump thing. So until that really gets resolved, I don't know if it's really going to break out. So like this chart is very similar to the other China names. So you have Huya, right? And then you have IQ. Yeah, JD, you have Baba. Just, Baba. They're all getting hammered. JD, exactly. But the thing about this is that's why I'm interested in giving it time on these calls because when this thing does get resolved, I'm expecting a massive rally in these names, especially the Babas of the world that are fundamentally really good. So that's what I'm thinking about uh, C Trip and these China names. But my stop loss would be like, I'm thinking about getting in these December calls for long and, you know, having a stop loss around $36, see if it can break out. But it, I, as I said, it's all about the news right now. Oh, yeah. My stop loss is going to be below this 36.93 area. If that breaks, then I'm going to be, you know, weary. But, you know, if it's down there, then, you know, I might not be targeting like 38.50 or something like that. Um, something close, not really too far away that, you know, reasonably it can get into before earnings. And, um, you know, before earnings, if they break out of this range and it really doesn't make sense for the liquidity unless – Unless um, if they break down, break out to the downside going into earnings, then that means that they're taking, um, you know, all these this long liquidity out, people who are longs in the market. So maybe it, it has a higher chance of going higher. But um, basically what happens going into earnings is they're going to want to capture as much as con- as many contracts as possible and keep as many people playing, you know, because the premiums are going to be jacked up and they're going to be making money off the premium. So once once it goes one way or another they're going to want maximum rip on each on either side so the, i think c trip is uh it, it's a good reward to play the range until the earnings so yeah i mean sometimes yeah, it's definitely quite interesting. when stocks are down here when they're really ugly when they're not looking good it's really hard to hold down here but that's usually where the nice money's made but you know you have to have a stomach of steel honestly <laughs> some of these names you got to have a stomach like trump <laughs> yeah i guess but yeah, that's what we have on C Trip and Adobe. So we'll see how these end up. Um, what you were looking at the longer calls on C Trip, I imagine, right? Yeah, the thirty-eight fifty strike. Um, quickly, I just want to go over the market. Um, do some TA right here. We've been in this range that uh, you know we've I've highlighted since the beginning of the week. What you're gonna want to look for is a break and retest of twenty-nine thirty. And once that breaks and retests, and then uh, target more highs so yeah, with right. nfp maybe we're going to get a strong breakout and then continuation higher but going into nfp maybe we will get that small breakout and then uh you know liquidity grab with nfp and like fake move lower and then uh continue higher so that's what we're going to be uh basically what uh i would like to see during uh, nfp yep so that's what we have for today as a reminder you guys should definitely follow us on twitter because we're always tweeting and it's live these videos will you know make them daily two stocks a day and then Friday recap as always.
Is there anything else you would like to say? Uh, nope, that'll be it. Thank you very yeah. much for your guys' time. Yeah, make Please sure like to us. share, like, subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your day. Make it a great day.